Today we will be beginning the build for the sandblaster that I plan on using to clean off all the metal parts for the truck and any future metal projects I have down the line. We will be using a propane tank for the pot. Um, conveniently, the outlet for the propane tank is a three-quarter MPT thread. So that means I just have to flip it over, attach some plumbing to the bottom, cut a hole in the top, and then mount it to a two-wheel dolly. I know most of the ones you find online have a pressurized pot, but I'm not a fan of that design. I'm gonna continue to use a siphon base gun that I use to clean the engine. I really didn't have any problems with the performance of it. The thing that made it difficult to work with was always having to move the siphon hose into the sand to make sure it's always pulling sand out. So I'm gonna use a gravity fed system with a little bit of a twist and we'll start with that. I've already got the fittings here. I'm just gonna assemble them and then once they're assembled, I'll talk you through the design. On the inlet of the tank is a three-quarter MPT fitting. On that I have a two-inch nipple that just goes to one half of a three-quarter MPT union. And this is so that I could easily disconnect the plumbing from the tank and vice versa in case I need to like clean it out or do some modifications in the future. That goes into a three-quarter to one half coupling and then the coupling goes into two 90s and this is where my twist is. The idea for this is that it creates a trap for the sand to sit in. So the sand is sitting in the container and it's filling this pipe and then it's coming around and it's like just kind of chilling in the bottom of the trap and it's just waiting for the air to come by and pull it out of the trap. The hose for the sprayer is connected to this end that doesn't have any restrictions. It creates a low pressure area right where this T is and as it passes over it will pull the sand out of the trap up into the gun and out of the gun. And on the other side of the T is the control valve. And the idea for this is that I can open and close it to let more air in and bypass it. So if I have it all the way closed, that means no air is going past the T. So that means it's sucking all of the air through the tank and pulling out the most sand that it can. If I open it all the way, no sand is gonna be pulled out of the T and all the air is just gonna go past it without any problems. I have given this a little bit of a test and it works really well. The next step is to attach the tank to the dolly. That's gonna take a little bit of cutting and a little bit of welding. So I'm gonna get started on that and I will come back with a first version of the sandblaster. <laughs> cut and laid the tank on the dolly. I spent a couple days thinking about how exactly I wanted to attach the tank so that I could have it easily removable. And I came up with modified door hinges would be the best example. Um, I have two pieces of round tube. One's welded to the dolly and one's welded to the tank. And the part that's welded to the tank also has a pin welded inside of that. Um, and that way you can slide the tank off. This is what the pin and the tube look like on the tank. And then you just slide it back in place and it goes back in place. So that's how the tank is attached. The last thing I need to do to make it functioning is to drill a hole in the top of the tank so that I can actually fill it with sand. 
and uh, since it's not a pressurized pot, I don't have to worry about the size of it. So I think I'm going to make it as large as possible. I'm gonna go to Target or someplace and buy a strainer that is hopefully about four inches and get a hole saw that's about that size so that the strainer can just live on top of the tank so that no debris or no large particles get in it. So I need to cut the hole. I have a couple fittings I need to change down here to make hose I got work a little bit better. I'm gonna put a restrictor on the valve to see if that helps modulate the airflow a little bit more to make this work a little bit better. But <clears throat> we're almost there, so I'm gonna go ahead and run to Target, get the strainer, and then I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna drill the hole, change the plumbing out, and then we'll give it a test run to see how it does. <music> cleaned up I went ahead and lined it with some vacuum hose that I kind of split along and that'll protect your skin from the sharp edge if you ever have to reach your hand in there to mess with the sand or get something that you dropped out of it. I turned the cutoff into a lid so it just kind of sits in the basket to protect anything from getting in there. The strainer I bought will work for now. I have another one somewhere I just can't find it and I'm gonna switch them out. I think it'll fit a little bit better. I went ahead and added the restrictor fitting to the bypass. I swapped out the fitting and the bottom as well to attach the hose, and that's what you see here. And I have a 10 foot hose on it, and this is the gun. The air attaches here, comes out, shoots out the nozzle, and there's a venturi in here, and that sucks the sand up. I added a 10 foot hose, so I'm not restricted to being right next to this thing. I would take it out and give it a test run, but it is supposed to be storming on and off all day and everything's wet outside and I just don't want to deal with that kind of condition. So I'm going to end the video here. Uh, and the next video is going to be part two of this where I'm going to have it cleaned up, probably have a nice coat of paint on it. I'll go ahead and open with a couple scenes of me testing this. Um, and also in part two, I'll be working with the media recovery side and kind of the dust collection and control side of it. With that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below and I'll answer them as soon as I can. If you would like to get updates of when I release new videos, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. You can even click that notification bell if you want. So yeah, I will see you in part two of building my sandblasting system, and that means I'll see you in the next one. Bye.